A controversial proposal is working its way through the state legislature. It would give parents the power to fire teachers and principals. And tonight's To the Point, news anchor Russ McCaskey talks with one of the county sponsors of the bill to find out more about a bill that is getting a lot of attention. And we have State Senator Jabbar Shumate with us. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Uh, right, let's talk about a couple of issues that, that you feel pretty strongly about. Tell us about this bill with education uh, and, and, and kind of what it does, because it's, it's getting a lot of a play in the media, because I guess it would allow the parents to have a say in whether or not a teacher or administrator gets moved out and, some, and, an, and another group comes in to run a school. Exactly. Uh, Senate Bill uh, 1001 is, uh, to me, uh, an empowering bill for parents. Uh, all too often I, I have a low-income community community, mm -hmm. parents feel left out of the process and what we hope to do with the bill and, and it has had some controversy but is give parents an opportunity to have a real seat at the table if they feel they've been trapped in a low performing school for over three years and their kids are not getting a good education for them to come up with a new plan and a new idea, a new design and, and I just look, I think that it can really be a win-win for parents and the school district to find something positive. And basically it would take a public school and, and maybe transform it into a charter school. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? If 51% if of the parents in the school at a school that has had a D or an F for the past three years sign a petition, they can either do one or two things, have the principal and assistant principals removed and someone new put in place or uh, redesign that school as a charter in which they work with the district to come up with a charter school that fits for the school and that's a, just a deregulated school where they can they can really address some of the problems. So uh, so basically you're putting a lot of power in, into the, the parents of, of, of the kids mm -hmm. and it gives them an opportunity to basically go in and fire perhaps a principal or mm -hmm. so forth. Uh, what's the, the reaction from educators? I would think that this would be a little intimidating for them. It, I, I think that you know <clears throat> above all what I've seen at other places is that for parents who don't feel listened to, mm -hmm. that oftentimes it causes the, the district to step up mm -hmm. and listen to the needs of those parents before they even pull a trigger, so to speak. I don't think parents want to fire them. They want good schools for their kids. Mm -hmm. They want uh, the kind of schools I enjoyed and the kind of schools I think every child should enjoy, schools that work for them. And if that means that they have a seat at the table so that they can push that school forward, not necessarily operate a trigger or take it over, right. I don't think parents want to do that, but they want a seat at the table, and this gives them a real conversation that they can have at the table because they're, they're empowered. Right. And, and, and what's your reaction from parents? Do, are parents excited about this potential opportunity? I think many parents are. You know, we're in the midst of dealing with uh, some, some great ideas for McLean High School, but mm -hmm. you see even, you see the frustration, the mistrust, and all too often, if you've been in a low-performing school for years and years and years, seeing the same schools in your area fail, you, you, you have a mistrust, and I think that what this does is level the playing field so that everybody at the table has a stake in the game right. and we can find some solutions that work. I, you know, my hope is there's never a, a trigger that's pulled, but I think that, that the parents have to have some sense of power at that table too. Okay, and quickly I want to touch on uh, on the situation with Langston University because there's some some legislation out there that could change the way some classes are taken and it could uh, take away from, from Langston a little bit. Explain that and, and kind of the concern there. It, two, two bills, Senate Bill 58 and 59, are sponsored to do a couple of things. Langston University has a mandated mission in Tulsa, in Oklahoma City, as part of a desegregation plan that was uh, uh, signed off by the state of Oklahoma in 1978. These bills would change that. Langston would no longer have a mandated presence in Tulsa, and then it would allow their courses to be duplicated. And these are in direct, um, what, what we would say that's directly uh, opposite of what we agreed to in 1978. Mm -hmm. So it would really put us in a jeopardy, all schools, of federal funding because with the U.S. Department of Education, they have said if you're out of compliance, we could eventually pull all federal funding from schools. And I, I want to try to work with uh, all of the parties, find a solution, but I think these two bills put the cart before the horse in the essence that they go and take action that puts us in violation and out of compliance with federal authorities, and I don't want our funding for our, right. our colleges to all be right. removed. We're going to be watching all those issues. Uh, Jabbar Shumate, State Senator, thanks Thank for joining you. us today. All righty.